out with the old and in with the new. So welcome back everybody. I am very excited about this episode. This is something I've been working on for months. And as much as y'all seem to enjoy our solar content, I thought I'd bring you along for this. We are upgrading our current emergency backup system that we've been using here in the house for the last, well, year to two years I've been building this out and we're upgrading to a new system. And I'm gonna tell you why, show you this system, how it goes together. We might as well test a few things with it in this episode as well. For those of you that's watched the channel for a while, you know this is my EcoFlow Delta Pro setup. I got my first single Delta Pro, I don't know, a couple of years ago, at least it's been that long, and we did lots of tests on the channel. This has kind of been the industry leader for the longest time of a portable power station. It's one of the first ones that you could ever link two of them together and do 240 volt power. That's huge if you're gonna call something like this a home backup system because, well, everybody here in the US has 240 volt main panels. So you can actually power up your entire main panel. And there's a lot of power here to literally run dryers, obviously washers, central ACs, although relatively small ones, it runs ours just fine. Our 240 volt well pump, as well as anything else you can imagine, 110 volt wise, from your freezers, refrigerators, and all your medical equipment, etc. This bailed us out big time last year when we took a direct hit from Hurricane Adelia. Some of our neighbors were without power for two weeks. We were out power for a while, so we ran this all night long, including our central AC, by the way. Saved our food, everything else. We ran some medical equipment here as well. And then during the day, we'd fire up a generator, charge this up, and make our noise during the day, sleep silently at night. But I have decided to move over to the new EcoFlow Delta Pro ultra system here and there's a few reasons why by the way we've done did a full review on this i'm not going over all the specs again let's explain why i'm going with this show you my new setup how it goes together and uh, again let's test some stuff here so as soon as the ultra was announced several months ago i knew this was the system for me this is without a doubt the most powerful portable power station there is now while it does come in at a hefty weight and you can build it out you can see i got three batteries here you can do up to five batteries per inverter it still is portable. I had this on a very nice EcoFlow roll around cart, but because I'm going with multiple batteries here, I decided to use the little roll around stand that already comes with the unit. But I can always take off the inverter or a single battery and use that heavy duty cart that I have should I wanna make this portable. So why am I going with this system when this one has worked so well for us? Well, we make content on the channel and we are constantly upgrading and expanding. It's what we do, we love testing stuff. This system right here is extremely powerful. By the way, this is still a current system. This is not replacing that. This is just a new model. This is gonna take care of a lot of people's needs, but I like a system that I can't outgrow. This system, you can only put two inverters together for a maximum of 7,200 watts, and you're kind of done there. And then you can add on up to four additional batteries. That builds a pretty large and very powerful system. Whereas whenever you come over to the Ultra, this single inverter right here is just as powerful as both of these. And if you use EcoFlow's home panel, smart home panel, we may do one of those down the road in the future, which is fully automated by the way. You can put your critical circuits on it and this smart home panel is kind of like a main panel and it can communicate and pull power from the grid or it can swap over automatically to the inverter, whether you're home or not for true automated backup. But if you do that home panel, well, you can add up to three inverters for over 21,000 watts of output. You can add up to five batteries per inverter, so you could do 15 batteries total in the maximum setup right here for 90,000 watt hours of capacity. If I remember correctly, I think you can go up to around 22 to 24,000 watt hours of capacity on the original Delta Pros here. So as you can see, we can get a much more massive system here. It has dual solar inputs here. This one up to 150 volts. That's already very powerful and exactly what a single one of these is. But then it has a second and even more powerful solar input right here up to 450 volts. All right, so that's where I get a little excited. Now we can add well over 5,000 watts of solar input to this, whereas I was maxing this system out with my particular panels around 2,400 watts. You can do different combinations of panels and get potentially higher there, but a heck of a lot more solar input here. And if you use the right components, you can get a tremendous amount more battery capacity here and output. So this is gonna be a system that's gonna be extremely hard for me to outgrow. 
All right, I'm gonna show you how all this goes together. Stack these batteries. Look at the other reason why I went with this too. By the way, with three batteries right here, I'm at 18,000 watt hours of capacity. The setup you're seeing here is 14,000 watt hours capacity. So I've got 4,000 more watt hours of capacity in the batteries here. I've got the same size inverter. By the way, this does 240 volts all in one unit. I love that. And here's the thing, look at the size. This is gonna be much more compact the way it stacks in my pantry, and I can add up to two more batteries right here, keeping it in a nice tight package. By the way, I've been running one of these inverters out in my shop for a few months now, and uh, an update. It's powerful, it does what I need it to do, and I have lots of freezers, refrigerators, ACs, and everything else out in my shop, so I don't think this is gonna have a problem bailing us out in an emergency situation in the house. So there's the reasons why I'm upgrading. This setup right here is actually going just a few miles down the road to another house for somebody else that's setting them up an emergency backup system because here we are in Hurricane Alley. Like I said, we got hit last year. It's fresh on everybody's minds and a lot of people are getting emergency backups now. In full disclosure, EcoFlow originally sent me out the inverter and battery, but I've got rid of some very expensive things that were worth a lot of money to me in order to add additional batteries to my system here. Tiffany and I knew this is the system that we want to continue to add on to and build out for our emergency backup because of the massive capability. So I thought I'd let you know that. I actually have some skin in the game here myself. I'm putting my money where my mouth is, so to speak. And one thing that I love that EcoFlow got smart and did was some very good cable management. I'm very picky about that. All right, so if you look right down here on the side of these units, these covers, flip down, they're magnetic, they're nice and clean, they slide out of the way. This is our inverter, and this is our battery. Look at these cables, I love this. Nice and clean, nothing sticking and looping out. So we'll go ahead and connect the inverter to one of the batteries. They snap in and lock, and you can see there's additional locks right here to make sure the cables are never pulled out while in service. So let's go ahead and get us out of flathead right here, lock those in and we're good to go. Now you can see on the exact opposite side is additional battery ports, so we can just crisscross, again, up to five batteries. Now we can power all of these on. You can see they're already communicating, and our inverter itself has kicked on. We're ready to go. So let's go ahead and power this off. It's giving us our full combined battery capacity. We're definitely gonna need to charge these up, but let me show you how well these fit in our closet now. So as we walk in our pantry right here, this is a space where I originally had the Delta Pros. They kind of stuck out a little due to the cart and all that I built and the design. Now we're really gonna be able to fit here or here. Again, look, now we have room to potentially do two in the future, which is plenty of power for us. And what I did is I wired in your typical generator inlet box right here. Now this is relatively straightforward. Some homeowners may wanna tackle this or you can have an electrician put one of these in very easily. Normally they're on the outside of your home but because now we have a non-gas powered device that's convenient to run inside, Think about that, we don't have to run out during the storm, the hurricane or whatever to turn our system on, turn our gas generator on. We just come right in here and power it on. We've done this many times with our current setup. And those generator inlet boxes are very affordable to have installed and very basic. Again, we have videos on the channel showing how to do that should you have some electrical experience. Don't forget EcoFlow has the smart home panels. We may eventually put one right here that ties to our main panel and we can pull critical circuits into it. So again, if we're not home, our system can actually communicate with that. We can add multiple inverters to the smart home panel and it can do automatic swapping. Should a storm hit while you're not here and lose power, the units automatically will swap over in the home panel. It's running off the units that are plugged into it and it can go back to grid when grid power is there. By the way, that's probably gonna require an electrician to install unless you have really good electrical experience and EcoFlow does offer electrical services and consultation services should you need that. And they have specials for Texas and California homeowners too for electrical installation. All right, so here's the part I like. Talk about a space saving design. This is it. So, where I used to have a relatively large system, I now have just as much power 
including 4,000 more watt hours of battery capacity. I could stack two more in here and I could easily put a whole nother unit over here to have more than I've ever in my life had. And I'm not so sure that I need to go even larger than one inverter in the future, but we may want to add two more batteries. Keep in mind 7,200 watts of output is enough to run a dryer, which is a huge demand item, and we're not typically gonna run those in an emergency situation. But if you're trying to take a structure truly off grid, you may be running some of those large appliances and two inverters may make sense. A single inverter for us during emergency outage, again, tested last year with our Delta Pros. We can run our two ton central AC. We can run a 240 volt well pump, all of our freezers, refrigerators, charge phones, we can live like absolute normal with that. You just have to monitor your battery capacity. Speaking of monitoring, not only can you use the standard EcoFlow app, which is free and will give you some basics of monitoring your unit, but they just come out with this new Power Insight tablet right here. So what this will allow you to do is not only turn off and on the functions, monitor your output, input, your battery. You can also go in and see your total output with graphs. You can go to a calendar and look at different outputs on different days, inputs. You can monitor your AC charging, your power in and out, your solar percent, look at the weeks, months, years. And I even seen when I first booted this up, there is a potential option to connect to things like Google Nest for home automation. I'm certain this would be a wonderful addition for any of you that get the smart home panel, but this will be really nice whenever you're in an emergency outage and you want this tablet anywhere around in the house in order to monitor your system to make sure you might need to cut some more stuff off, add some more power input, output, etc. Plus again, you can go back now and look at all the days of the month to look at different solar inputs, any other information you may want. This is gonna be fun to play around with and truly learn. It looks like it's gonna be able to do a lot more than I even realize. The back side of this tablet is magnetic, so you can stick it to anything with metal. And they also include this charging bracket right here that you can mount to the wall and the tablet will snap in that. And then you can USB-C charge underneath or you can charge the tablet itself. This is a pretty neat addition right here, but don't forget you can also use the app or you can just use the front screen of the inverter. So you have multiple ways to control the inverter. So here's the other beautiful thing about this system. Now that I have a single inverter, there's no connecting two inverters like I used to have to in order to get 240 volts. You flip this up, 240 volts right here, ready to go. This is your standard L1430 plug that's found on most generators. So all I have to do is plug a generator cord in here, go straight to my generator inlet box and I'm good to go. So should you connect to their smart home panel or they also have another dongle that's a 50 amp output that you can mount on the wall and connect two inverters to, you can hook up a large cable right here and run to those types of systems. So even though I need to charge my system up, let's just go ahead and plug in right here, power the house up, and let me show you how all this works. All right, because this system is so compact now, I used to have to pull my old system out in order to access my uh, generator inlet box over here, but it doesn't look like I have to do that anymore. So we'll put our L1430 plug in there, turn our AC output on, so now we'll throw off our main breaker and then I have a very inexpensive generator interlock right here that I put in. Again, you can do these systems very affordable if you want the manual control or go all up to the smart home panels. So all I have to do is put that up. That allows me to not go back to grid and then we'll throw on this breaker right here that goes down there to that plug I just showed you. All right, now we're running on the EcoFlow. So you're gonna see the power shoot up really high as things turn on like freezers and refrigerators. I also have my big dehumidifier running upstairs. That pulls about 600 watts by itself. And my wife is outside actually washing a vehicle right now. So the pump and well is gonna be kicking on 240 volts. Typically our house sits idle around four to 600 watts, running your basic fans, internet, freezers, refrigerators, things such as that. But I'm letting a lot of stuff run right now. And the reason I wanna do that is listen, completely silent. That's what's always blown me away with these units, silent. They say once you get above 2000 watts and you hit a certain temperature, some fans will kick on, but as you can see, it's not even happening right now. The units run is so cool. And below 2000 watts, they claim zero dB. I also just realized what's pulling a huge amount of power out here. We have our pool pump going outside right now. That thing pulls a ton of power. Actually, I'm gonna kick the breaker off right here, go into it. 
Let's see what that drops down to. I've been very curious how much power that pool pump uses. Over a thousand watts. Obviously that's something we wouldn't run in an emergency situation unless we've got a lot of solar input and say, you know, another hurricane hits. Then we actually do want to run the pool so it doesn't turn green or go bad on us. But that's not a necessity. All right, so think about this. We can put thousands of watts of input to this. Typically, again, I'm running four to 600 watts, especially in an emergency situation. We're gonna cut a lot of our use down. We'll run up to about 1800 watts with our central AC kicked on, and it typically only runs 15 to 20 minutes in order to cool our house off. We're very well insulated. So if we've got several thousand watts of solar input coming in here, I no longer have to charge this via a generator or grid or anything else, and we can potentially stay off grid, assuming the sun is shining. But if the sun is not, I can charge this via a generator. And what we'll typically are going to use this for is we're always going to keep it at 100% charge. We'll just charge it off the grid. When we know a storm is coming, we're going to be set up and ready to go. Single cable connected doesn't get any easier than that. And then if the storm hits and we lose power, we literally throw one breaker, kick the other one on. We're back to running like normal. Obviously, we're going to be smart about what we run in those types of situations, but we're going to live conveniently and very comfortable. All right, I've got some videos on the channels. No point in us repeating this, showing this particular unit running central ACs, 240 volt well pumps, a 5,000 watt dryer, all kinds of stuff. And I've also did a full review on this if you wanna see all the specs. No point in repeating all of that here. I just wanna let everybody know this is our new portable backup system right here, and you can see all the reasons why. Again, we've personally heavily invested in this as well because we see the value in this, and we love the space-saving design of it. I also wanna let y'all know we're working on a massive project outside. We've already done, told you this on the channel, it's a huge outdoor cooking area, but it's gonna have a big privacy fence. And behind that privacy fence, we're planning on doing anywhere between a three to 4,000 watt solar array that we can run out to our big solar system in the shop, or we can connect back through the house right here and run this in an emergency situation and power up and potentially stay fully off grid with just this and never even have to pull out a generator. That's the ultimate hope down the road. So stay tuned for that video. You're gonna to wanna to enjoy it. We've already done purchase the panels. We just have to finish our outdoor area and then build that awesome solar array. So I'm gonna put some links down in the description if you're interested in this. Again, the original stuff was sponsored. We did have to do some things to get some batteries here for us ourselves to build it as big as we have. We truly do believe in this system. I'm also gonna put a discount code down there in the description. If you're interested, it'll save you some money and you help support the channel in the process. It means a lot to us. Thank you so much. We'll catch you on the next video.